Hello everyone, it is leg day. It's the first day of my new plan. So a brand new workout today of my new block. I forgot my tripod, but we're caffeinated. I've got my pre-workout in. Jim's busy. I've got back, I've got back squats. I've not done back squats for so long. Thank you. Oh my god, yay. Lost Property had one of the tripods that I'd lost. I've lost three tripods, but this one was in Lost Property. The one that I wanted is nowhere to be seen, but we've got a tripod at least. Everything's just gonna have to be a little bit low down because it's a small one, but yay! Anyway, what should we listen to? I'm feeling Justin Bieber today. No internet connection. Great. Technology band, just really get on my nipples. Just use these ones. Hopefully. Hey! I wonder if I put them on together. I don't want anyone to talk to me today. Ow, oh, no, that hurts. Works though. Miley Cyrus. Let's start with a bit of Miley, shall we? Let's crack on. Oh shit. I just started running. Okay, we're just starting off with a little bit of cardio to begin with, just five minutes, just to get the body warmed up a little bit. How cute is this outfit, by the way? I hope you can hear me. This is one of the new colours from the staple range from Abel. She's cute. I've already had a compliment already, which is really sweet. I love it. Okay, so the first exercise we're actually going to do is um, some abs. I want to start off with some abs just to kind of get everything going and so I don't skip it. So we're going to do some back supported um, hanging knee raises. So I'm just going to set up this barbell, make sure it's the right height and then we'll get cracking. I'm just going to put a little barbell pad on here just so it protects the back a little bit because otherwise it's going to be well uncomfortable. You want it just sitting just in the lower bit of your back. Ish. Oh my god, I'm sweating already. Okay, so the reason we've got back support is to stop us swinging so much. And it also gives us a base to allow our back into extension. So we want to extend and then when we bring the knees up, we want the hips to curl under. We don't want to rely too much on momentum on this, so we don't want to be swinging like sort of like this. We want to use the core, so allow your hips to go back, and then use your abs to bring your knees up. Hiya! You are right? Okay, yeah, good, good. Two pairs of headphones on, wait. Why? Got two pairs of headphones on. That's strange. <laughs> it is strange. Every time you've got two pairs on that, yeah. I don't wear it. <laughs> wow. These go better with my hair and it stops people talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Are you training? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start the leg part of the workout now. Um, and we're going to start off with some standing calf raises. I've not had these in my plan for ages. And I really like them. I really like training calves. Like, is that weird? I feel like a lot of people hate training calves, but. I like it. Okay, two sets of 10 to 12, but we're gonna do a really slow tempo on these. Let's just do a warm up set first, because I've not trained carbs in like, ow, three months. <laughs> nice. Ow. So with this workout, I'm doing tempo and working with reps in reserve, so, on most of these exercises, we've got either like not one or two reps in reserve, so I've just got to keep an eye on that all the way through. And it really, really helps to kind of like stabilize my training and get on a good level um, without like going absolutely balls to the wall and like wearing myself out. So, first off, we've got one to two reps in reserve, but we've also got a tempo of three, three, one, one. So, I'll show you what that looks like um, on my working weight. So adding tempo is awful, but also like really good at the same time. 
you know, I'm being shovelly if you work out. Whew. Okay, so the three one one one, the three three one one tempo on uh, standing calf raises looks like this. So three seconds on the countdown, three second pause, one second up, and then one second before we start again. Three, one, two, three, one, one. Oh. No way, is that set up right? I thought it was set up correctly, that never happens. I'm going to do two sets again. I'm going to do a warm-up set and then two sets. I can't hear a lot I'm talking. We're going to do a warm-up set and two um, working sets of 10 to 12 with no RIR. RIR. So it's going to be hard to go in this one. So let's do a warm-up set first and then I'll show you what no RIR looks like. I think I'm due on my period. My bag. It's feeling a little bit gross. Never mind. Let's do it. seconds left I tell you what 60 seconds rest periods go so quickly oh gross on seated leg curls by the way you want to keep your toes pulled back just so we're really getting the hamstrings we don't want our feet to be facing forwards really pull them back all the way through the movement oh. Sliders on. <laughs> You're not doing legs though. Yeah. Are you actually doing yeah. legs in sliders? Well, I'm taking them off. I've got to work <laughs> Oh god. <sighs> on this machine, you want to be leading with your knees and pulling your knees in together. Like your feet aren't really doing anything. So pop them on the footrest, but don't be like pulling in with your ankles. Everything is coming from these inner thighs and knees pushing against this pad. I've lost count now. Can you remember what that was? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna in a minute. I'm just setting up. I'll, I'll, why? What is it? Is it all just belly? <laughs> no, it's all right. I'll do it. <laughs> <It's all right>. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm slightly concerned because I've got all these exercises and I've still got quad focused leg press to do. And then I've got squats, and then I've got barbell squats. And my legs aren't working already. Okay. The spudgy label. I've been poking it out this whole session to chuck that off. Squats are going to finish me off if leg press doesn't already. I just put my joggers on to film my TikTok. Oh my god. They're coming straight back off again. This song is like on repeat in my head. I feel like it is the song that I need for this leg press because I fear for my life. 
if I'm quite honest. Quad focus, so feet hit with the part and low down on the um, foot plate. My life. One more. <sighs> yeah, that was as bad as I was expecting it to be. Twenty-five. I've got ninety seconds rest on this. I think I might cry for the whole of it. Cardio. I don't even care what you tell me. These may be my last moments. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what it feels like with the bar, shall we? Ugh. Awful. Is the answer to that question? <laughs> Let's load it up though. I've got to do 10 to 12. I'm just going to see how like three or four feel on this. I may add more, but I may not. We've only got two sets though, so maybe I should not be a wimp about it. Oh yeah. I'm going to do 60. This is probably a huge mistake, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And the blue plates look nice with my outfit. I'm not gonna lie, that's the only reason that I'm putting 60 on the bar. Three countdown, are you having a giraffe? decision Ugh. so I wouldn't normally put back squats this far along in um, a workout but I'm just trialing like a new way for me of how to train like I wanted to do all of my like abductions like extensions like curl and st all the stuff I did at the beginning and do all my short and drain stuff um, and get that out of the way first because that tires out quicker so then once I've done all that stuff I can then go into that heavy compound lift but I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it if I'm honest because my legs feel like they want to fall off so I mean there's pushing hard and then there's like pushing too hard that you can't actually do your compound lifts because 60 is normally like easy for me but obviously I've done like a million sets of different exercises first so hitting the old ego like quite a lot that I am probably gonna have to drop down in weight or just like go for the lower amount of reps in the set. Anyway, let's do another set, shall we? We wanna make sure that we're unracking properly. We don't wanna unrack in a split stance like this. So we're gonna get yourself under the bar, get your hand and back in position and then put your feet underneath the barbell, both of them. And you get yourself under the bar and then use your knees to lift up like this. A little step back, don't do too many. Yeah. <sighs> 
Why did I put back spots in my pan? Silly old woolly. Smelly old bum. Okay, on this one, we're gonna do it a little bit more um, glute bias. So we're gonna turn our feet out slightly like this. Really push your hips into this pad. It's almost like a hip thrust. So you go down in this position, keep your back in an anterior tilt. Ante oh my God, <sighs> can't speak upside down. Keep your hips not popped out like this, but like ugly bum. You know what I'm saying? Ugly bum it. And then you get down to the bottom and then use this part of your bum to pull yourself back up. I don't want to see any twerking like this. Because you're going to end up hurting your back and not getting a big bum. So tilt your pelvis into the pad and really push those hips. Okay, last exercise. So we've got hand supported reverse lunge. Two sets of eight to 10. We're just holding on to this for a little bit of balance. Like we're not pulling ourselves back up. We're gonna try and keep our knee over our ankle on this movement as well to really hit the glute. Like this angle here is what we're after. Like a really sharp angle. Rest the end of your dumbbell on your non-working non leg rather than just letting it flail about like this. Plant that on your thigh and then that way it's not swinging around and it's not putting you off balance. So we're gonna do another set. Set back and keep your knee over your ankle. Push the floor away with this front foot. And keep your heel and toe on this foot. Plant it into the floor. Was so close to banging on my toe, oh my god. Do we have permission to post? my bigger quads than yours. <laughs> okay, I've just finished. That was really good, but also really, really difficult. Like, I've not been to the gym in like, I wanna say four weeks properly, because I've had COVID, I think, four weeks ago, and it's really like knocked me for six. So this was my first proper, like, focused leg session in a long, long time. And it was good. It's right now. Look at that. Oh. Holy moly. <sighs> Guys, if you are interested in my exact workouts, I actually do have um, a training app called Train Daily JLH. I'll put all the information down below, but it shows, well, it gives you like all of my entire workouts, the exact ones that I do and what I do over like eight week blocks, four weeks, six week, eight week blocks and things like that. So that is available, it's 15 pound a month and you get access to the app, to a community chat, um, access to direct message me if you have any questions and things like that. So I put all the information, like I said, down below. If you do wanna join in with my workout plans, it's a group um, training like thing. It's really nice. It's got loads of lovely girls in the group chat who can spur you on as well. So come and join me, it would be lovely. And you too could be put through hellish workouts like that. I hope you enjoyed it. I shall be back very soon with another one. <laughs>